Observing the presidential elections over the years has been a lot like watching a television series, Jump the Shark. We've gotten to that point where you watch it for the same reason you can't help slowing down and staring as you pass a wreck on the highway. It's the Jerry Springification of politics, a morbid fascination with the decline of Western civilization. I know, I know. Some of you are on the train. Some of you are actually inspired by the smoke being blown up your collective backsides. I'm not here to burst your bubble. Not necessary. Reality will set in on its own time. No matter who gets inaugurated in January, the American public is going to come to their senses in a ditch with a hangover and realize that they have no idea where their pants are. That's an ugly picture. Sometimes you have to hit rock bottom to realize you've got a problem. There has never been a better time for a rude awakening. All around the world, we are witnessing the early stages of a massive social and economic upheaval. Large swaths of the population feel angry, disenfranchised, and disgusted with the trajectory we're on. This undercurrent carried Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders to the national stage. It brought Brexit to a referendum. And ready or not, there's more to come. I know, I know. The other candidate is really, really bad. I agree. Both sides see their opposition's candidate as a fraudster, a liar, and a fool. And they're both right. The trouble is, both sides hate their opponent so much that they refuse to scrutinize their own candidate. Par for the course. Delusion is the lifeblood of politics. But with a lineup like this, one has to wonder if the powers that be are getting senile. Must be having a hard time recruiting competent, likable puppets. The circus tent is collapsing and America is about to get a new ringmaster foisted upon them that is disliked and distrusted by the majority of the population. It's unprecedented. You could even call it historic. This election isn't going to be determined by who people are voting for, nearly so much as who they are voting against. They really screwed the pooch with Bernie Sanders though, didn't they? It was all so well planned and choreographed. The graceful loser, an emphatic endorsement, great music and visuals, all ruined by the DNC email leaks. They got caught red-handed. In doing so, the establishment planted the seeds of rebellion in the hearts and minds of an entire generation. And that generation just happens to be the future. Therein lies a window of opportunity. Discontent is the mother of revolution. Disillusionment, the motor of real change. As America stumbles around in that ditch trying to figure out what went wrong, more and more people are going to realize that it's time to stop pissing their life away at the RNC and DNC liquor stores. The solution is not going to come from the same system that created the problem. It's not just a few bad apples. It's not just democracy that's broken. We're running on a faulty paradigm. We have a debt-based monetary system which requires infinite growth to stay afloat on a finite planet addicted to oil and war. Time to start working outside the box. Reforms aren't going to cut it. Divisive political wedge movements aren't going to help. A full socioeconomic reset is in order and in the works. It is going to be a bumpy ride though, so I hope you have a sense of humor. We're probably gonna need it. If this message resonates with you, spread it. You have permission to download and transmit any and all of our content through any venue, commercial or non-commercial. If you want more, follow Storm Clouds Gathering on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. For sources, transcripts, and email updates, visit our website at stormcloudsgathering.com.